family it's the mobile home diva coming to you with another video so the day I recorded this video was Saturday I actually worked till 9 o'clock that night and then while I was working I decided to cook my husband a nice meal for Sunday so I got off at 9 and I ran to Food Depot they don't close until 10 o'clock and I bought some turkey wings and some cabbage and I came home on a mission to prepare dinner. So what I did um, just now was clean the kitchen first and now I'm cooking the turkey wings. While I'm cooking the turkey wings, let me just say if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. So now back to my turkey wings. Once I clean them, I'm going to determine if I'm going to put them in the oven, put them in the crock pot or what, but um, it's 10 o'clock at night and the oven is probably going to be a no. So let me get my seasons. We have garlic powder. I'm a little heavy handed with the garlic, garlic powder, but that's because it, it's not a garlic salt. It's the garlic powder and I love the garlicky taste. I also am going to add, a, is it adobe or adobo? not really sure but I like this seasoning you can put it in anything poultry beef anything so that's what I'm doing I'm grabbing the adobo and taking the taking the top not the top off but it was brand new so I had to cut the plastic from around it but that's the adobo that I use so I'm going to shake a generous amount on there I don't know exact measurements you guys I don't often use measurements I go by I just know when it's enough the last season is a little Creole seasoning. It's called Slap Your Mama. It's in Walmart, Target. Uh, well, I haven't seen it in Target. I'm pretty sure it is. It's in grocery stores and Walmart, I know for sure. Um, and I'm also going to add some bay leaf, but I don't put that in when I'm seasoning it. So let me go ahead and get that mixed up. And then I'll try to find the right size crock pot. I first grabbed the small one, you guys, and it really was too small. Um, the meat was all the way at the top, and I didn't want that. I wanted room um, in the crock pot. So when I still had more meat to go, I actually stopped putting it in there, and I, I'm going now to grab my larger crock pot and see how I like that. I realized looking at these videos that when it's trying to focus like that or it's it's blurry um, it's because it's too close to me so I'm learning that I need to move the camera back some as you can see here it's it's a little blurry and then when I walk away it clears up so I must be too close to the camera well this YouTube's really got me learning how to use this video equipment and figuring things out I appreciate you guys patience as I learn and grow and I hope that you all know that it's my intent um, to share my life with you, but I'm not a professional. I get people sometimes that complain about the, the shaking or the blurriness and stuff like that. I'm still learning and I'm still growing and I haven't even been doing this a year. So thank you to my oldest bird goodies who bear with me and appreciate me. My baby mama know how to take care of me Give my baby problems, you gon' regret everything So I let her know, gotta let her know Came through the front door, I'll be ready for her. And if it's what you want, I'ma give it to you Yeah, promise, I'ma give it to you Miss that smile, Lord knows I ain't seen that in a while But it's your style, so something must be up keeping you down You a queen that must be heaven sent Pray my soul, I must repent for not telling you what I meant and how I felt Honestly, I'm used to throwing wishes in a well My conscience tells me that I could have helped without fail Actions speak louder than words And that's a lesson that I learned all by myself Let him know, I gotta let him know Alright, so you saw me cut up the veggies for the turkey wings that I put in the crock pot Now I'm getting ready to cut up the veggies for the cabbage 
But let me just say this because I didn't do it on camera. I also added a pack of Lipton's Onion Soup Mix. It's a powder. And I also sprinkled in some complete seasoning. So those are two items that I added. Um, and I added two cups of water, which you couldn't see the water. Um, it was really low in there. I wanted to see how much water the wings would produce on their own in the juice I mean, excuse me in the turkey wing about five o'clock in the morning I came and added um, two more cups of water I boiled the water in a tea kettle and poured it into the wings because that was already hot and I wanted it to keep cooking instead of slowing it down so you, you it probably created a little too much juice but I was able to take the meat out of the juice and, and serve it separately. We use the juice as gravy. So anyway, so I'm cutting up uh, red, yellow, orange, and green bell pepper and the rest of that large onion that I cut for um, the turkey wings. What you see in that silver pot is water bo boiling. I put in two cups of water and I'm gonna add the veggies to the water and then I'm gonna add um, pepper and salt. It, the pot seemed to be smoking, so I wiped off the bottom. I didn't know if something was on it or not, but it was fine. Um, and here I'm trying, I'm gonna, my, I have a um, battery operated ground uh, pepper and salt shaker. I like it because you push the button and um, it grinds it for you. And also there's a light so you can see just how much is coming out. And I couldn't really tell with the steam. So there's a top that it sits in. I grab the top and um, put pepper into the top so that I can manage how much I'm putting in the pot. So I do two top fulls of um, pepper and then one top of salt. Cutting up the cabbage, I'm actually going to cut the core out first. I don't use that. I know there's some people that do, but I don't. Cut out the core, and then I'm going to cut up the cabbage. Not too slim, not too thick. Um, we don't like it too wide, but we don't like it too skinny either. So I cut it up, and I'm going to put it in my trusty pan um, because I'm going to wash the cabbage before I add it to the pot. So that's what I'm doing. voiceover up to this point but I just wanted to talk to y'all this morning so it's 7 45 
as you can see if you've been watching my previous videos I um you know what I don't have a microphone connected to my camera and I don't know how good the voice quality is gonna be so let's go get the microphone so y'all can hear what I'm saying I'll be right back family just keep watching the pot Alright, so let's connect this microphone. Make sure y'all can hear me. Alright, that ought to be better there. So, first order of business is 746. My husband gets off at 8 o'clock and he won't get here till about 9. So, I need to get the cornbread in the oven. And I need to um, take a shower because worship service is at 10. All right. So I'm going to transfer the smoked, uh, the turkey wings over to this pot. They'll be better. I'll be better able to manage them. That's better. So, this is a cast iron pot. Look at the bones. Ooh. This is a cast iron pot. I know it looks kind of cruddy on the inside, but it's clean. That's from years of use. But y'all, these turkey wings are, I probably should have put them in a pan. But this is gonna hold the heat better. I'm gonna leave the gravy in this big pot and he can use it if he wants but I'm almost afraid the way it looks he'll think it's grease and he won't want any of it my husband can't eat a whole lot of grease um so I'm taking the turkey wings out of the gravy that it cooked in and I'm just gonna put them in this pot Just lost an onion. I'm going to put them in this pot. And that pot will hold the heat. Y'all, I'm pulling out bones and everything. Mm. That's a bay leaf. I watched this older lady. Um, lady T. Sensations. Tanya Howell. The Flavor Train. I watch her videos and because I watch her videos I've started watching her mom's channel and her mom's channel is called come on in they live in North Carolina and she cooks on um, you on video and when I tell you she has such personality and I can tell that she cooks um, I watch her all the time and uh, I've learned some tips and tricks from her. So I, I mentioned her because I wanted to give her and Tanya a shout out. So if you go on YouTube, if you're interested in cooking, cha in, um, cooking channels and you want to check out who I feel, Cooking with Gina is one of my favorites. Simply Food by T. Simply Food by Ty is another favorite. But Come On In is my all-time favorite. So if you're interested in cooking channels, y'all, go check them out. Cooking with Gina. Simply Food by T.Y. Now he does mukbangs and he cooks. And then Come On In. Those are my three favorites. All right. So, I guess I done gave a shout out this morning. Oh, I never brought the top, did I? All right. So, I had to wipe down the stove, get some order, make me feel better about my stove. I got, I guess y'all want to see what it looked like, huh? 
Let me show y'all. That's all that good gravy that was the turkey wings came off of. And I know they don't look like nothing, y'all, because they just all torn up. But that turkey meat is just falling off the bone. So let's give it a taste. That's gonna be some good eating right there. This is uh, turkey wings. So it has fallen off the bone. Mm, 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 mm. And needs a little salt, but I'm gonna let him salt it his own plate. And that cabbage is cold. So we're gonna put that on low. I'm gonna put just a little gravy. Just a little bit. In here. With the meat. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit so it don't get dry. My spring video last week, weekend, I'll link it in the iCard above. You'll see that I had a cook with me at the end where I made a homemade soup and I used a box of Martha White cornbread. Well, it was a different cornbread mix. It was in the red and white package. Um, and can y'all see my face? Y'all can't see my face. I ain't looking like nothing this morning. You see, I still got on my... Let's see here. I took you off the other tripod because it wouldn't stay up. Now this one is harder, but it's sturdier. For the, it's more sturdier for this heavier camera. The other one is so lightweight. So anyway, the cook with me that I let I did last week, I had I had a, a red and white box of Martha Stewart, and I really like that cornbread. It's not sweet, it tastes like regular cornbread, and um, it's really easy to make. You just add milk or water, and I've done it both ways, and they both taste the same. So when I went in Food Depot last night, they only had this box of Martha White corn muffin mix. So it, I know it's different because it says add milk and egg, I'm hoping this is not sweet cornbread, y'all. I really could make a homemade cornbread, but I don't have cornstarch. And um, I got the meal and the milk, but that's all I got. So we're going to see what it do. I know this is real yellow, but we're going to see what it do. So it says add heat oven to 400. Let's go ahead and do that. Take my pan, which if you if you did watch that last video, you know that I heat my pan up before I put the cornbread in it. But that pan was just sitting in there, and the oven is cold, so we're not gonna do it yet. So we're gonna add uh, a third cup of milk and one egg, and mix well. And all right, so. <sighs> But I added more oil, put that in the oven because I like my pan to be good and hot before I put the cornbread in. I didn't intend to do a tutorial, but since I got the camera going up, I wanted to talk to y'all. I hope you're doing well this morning. It's Sunday morning. It's, uh, 
It's 8.04 on Sunday morning. Uh, and I hope you had a good night's sleep. I hope that um, you were well rested. I hope that you wake up and have a, a pleasant morning. Get you a good cup of coffee, some orange juice. Make your family some breakfast. Or if you're single, go, go to a restaurant. Have some breakfast on your own. I, I miss that. When I was single, I would go do things by myself. Love on me a little bit. And um, it was really nice. So I hope that you are able to do the same and that your day is either full of fun or full of rest. Um, if you have to work today, it's okay. I worked till last night at nine o'clock on a Saturday and I'm not used to it, but you know what? We do what we must to pay the bills, right? Right. So we're gonna keep stirring this rice so it don't stick. And now I'm gonna turn it down a little bit because I definitely don't want it to stick. But, uh, but yeah, I mean what I say. I hope you're having a wonderful day, even if you have to work, even if things aren't going well, even if you're facing persecutions, uh, distresses, stressful situations, depression, all of that. It's gonna be okay. Things will get better. I am a praying person and I pray for everything. And I encourage you to do the same. Invite good energy in your life, okay? Gotta do that for yourself because nobody else gonna do it for you, I'm telling you. People always talk, always comment about my good spirit and my good attitude. It's because my good spirit and my good attitude is because I know that, that the God I serve is an awesome God. He takes care of me and my family as long as I serve him. You know, there's a scripture in the Bible that says, I'm going to read it to you. I know it by heart, but I want to make sure that I read every word. This translation says, for God loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son so that everyone exercising faith in him might not be destroyed but have everlasting life. That's John 3.16. And I really appreciate it because it shows that we have to do something too. We don't just get the blessings and benefits of his only begotten son. It says all those exercising faith in him. So if you exercise faith in God, and in his son, Jesus Christ, then you're gonna have the same type of attitude because you're gonna know that nothing that that the enemy will bring against you will prosper, that, that, that no weapon formed against you will prosper. And so, um, I feel good this morning, y'all. I, um, yeah, I feel good this morning and I just wanted to talk to y'all a little bit. And um, I hope I don't offend anybody that doesn't go to church or whatever, but, um, I go out and teach and preach um, to people and I would be, it wouldn't be me if I didn't share how I feel um, with you too. I talk to everybody and you guys are my family and so at times I, I don't get into politics or religion a lot on my channel so um, if I offended anybody I apologize that's not what this channel is about but it's what I'm about and so I just wanted to share that with you this morning um, and we're gonna get back to cooking so I can get in the shower so I'm not late and my husband can eat when he get here he probably gonna be looking for breakfast y'all and he gonna get a surprise. I'm not going to record him walking in the door and being surprised because as y'all can see from my videos, he does not like to be on camera. That's why you very seldom see him. Every now and then, I believe in my, um, and I'll post it right here in the link um, in the iCard, but I was able to get him hanging my shower rod when I did, um, decorated my bathroom. I got him just a little bit uh, and every now and then I get a glimpse of him like out in the yard or something but he won't come on the camera face to face and he won't talk to y'all and stuff. He just, he don't care for the camera. You have to, you have to respect that when people don't want to be on camera. So, uh, he, he likes what I'm doing on YouTube. He watches my videos. He critiques me. He tells me 
he lo he thinks I do an awesome job editing, and he's always giving me credit for that. Um, so I appreciate it. He's really paying attention. He sees that I'm learning and getting better, and he compliments me. He just don't want to be in front of the camera. Maybe that'll change later on down the road as we get to doing more around this house and he gets involved with more and more DIY projects. I told you I got a list of things that I want to do when it gets warm and he's going to be involved. So we'll see. Maybe he'll get better at being on the camera. All right, that rice is coming along. I kind of think I'm going to have to add some more water to it, but we're going to let it cook down a little bit and see what it do. Um, you know when you're cooking, you have to just watch the food. And I'm not worried about bringing any order to that cabinet right now. I'm going to probably turn on the camera and show y'all how to organize. It's a hot mess down there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this cornbread in the oven. That's what we're going to do right now. We're going to get this cornbread in the oven. That pan done got hot. I'm going to have to sit it. I don't need the one. And I actually got little sleeves y'all. Made out of silicone like these gloves that you put on here. When you want to take it out the when you want to take it out of the oven you slip that on there and then you can handle the hot pan. So it's convenient. I forget about them sometimes. Um, but I wanted to pull these out and hang them right here where we can see them. Uh, very good. So the rice is going good. I think I will add just a little water to it. Just a little water to it. And I'm going to put the top on it and let it do it. Now, I'm going to turn y'all around just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here at the stove. Make sure you can see me. That beeping, y'all, is the stove telling me that it's ready. This is thick. Probably because I added that meal, but I'm not going to add no more milk. I'm going to see how this turned out. I usually like it a little soupier. But I, if you know, if you watched that video last week, you saw that the cornbread separated a little bit in the oven. So, we're going to leave that. Ah! Yeah, I did that. It ain't that hot. It didn't burn me. Just told y'all about the sleeve. <laughs> and you just gotta pinch it and pull to get it off. All right, so 20 minutes. We'll set the oven for 20 minutes. That'll give me time to go take a quick shower. But before I go take a shower, let's bring some order to this kitchen, y'all. You gotta keep order in your kitchen. You can't let can't be like me and let the kitchen just just always be looking out of disarray. So my husband come home and eat. He gonna wanna see. Don't nothing make a man happier than a clean kitchen, a man like mine anyway. Don't make a man like mine happier in a clean house and a good meal. That really excites me. Old school man, you know what I mean? I got an old school man. I never had to worry about him. Uh, wanting to hang out in the street. Never had to worry about him. All right, family, I don't know what happened, but um, at some point, my, 
camera stopped recording, so I said a whole lot that you probably didn't hear. Uh, it said that I reached the maximum number of recordings. So that's a 128 gig SD card. But I recorded a lot of home tours yesterday, so it may be right. Uh, but anyway, I have swept the floor and I have uh, lit a candle. We got the cornbread going. We got the rice going. I'm going to check that right now before I go take a shower. Need just a little bit more water. I'm glad I checked it. It was sticking, y'all. We got the cornbread going. We got the rice going. And I got time to go take a quick shower. It won't take me no more than 10 minutes, so I should be back to check this stuff in a minute. And I'm going to turn that all the way down on low. This pot cooks fast. Mm, my husband don't like no scorched rice. It ain't scorched, but it is sticking on the bottom. So, I was sharing with you, and I probably got cut off, that nothing my husband likes better than a clean house, a house that smells good, and a hot meal. And so, he's just real simple. I don't have to do a whole lot to please him. Um, that's what he like. So, I decided to give that to him this morning because it's not always like that. I decided to give that to him. And, um... The kitchen clean, everything in the house ain't 100% spick and span, but the living room is inviting. Matter of fact, I believe I'm, gonna, I'm getting the laundry up off the floor. I'm going to turn y'all around so y'all can. The living room is clean. Somewhat. <laughs> I'm gonna light a candle over here. He gonna be home by himself. He gonna come home, take a shower, eat dinner for breakfast, and then he gonna pass out. And I'm gonna go on to my spiritual meeting. Y'all know I worship at the Kingdom Hall. If you didn't know, I do worship at the Kingdom Hall, and our Kingdom Hall is right down the street. So our meeting is at 10. I'll leave him to rest. And, uh, yeah, when I come back, I'll come home and get me a little rest, too. So, so that's it, you guys. I'm going to go and uh, take my shower, and I will let you see the final result when I fix his plate. All right, see you in the next clip. All right, family, I made it back from my spiritual meeting. I'm gonna cut this TV off so they don't cut it right. Investigators are having finding the driver. All right. I'm gonna fix my food here. My husband came home from work and got dressed and went with me. So that was a nice surprise. He usually doesn't go on the night that he works. But I'm gonna fix my food and show you what we what we put together and then that's gonna be it for the day. I'm gonna relax for the rest of the day. Ain't that right, babe? He ain't talking cause he know I'm recording y'all. He's shy. I'm recording. All right. You gonna come talk to the people? Come say hey to the people. Don't come over here like that. I got the. Uh, <laughs> come over here like that. I'm gonna have to oh, cut that you out. Want, you wanna say hey to the people? I could, yeah, put the shirt on and say come hey say to hey to the people. You know what I'm talking about? Have the people come on down. 
I done already told him you shy. You I'm not shy. the camera. Damn, you not shy. I'm not shy. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all hear my husband talking foolishness in the background? No, he don't like the camera. Oh, the camera. Well, put the shirt on. Camera and I are friends for life, Christine. Put the shirt on and come say hey. Put the shirt on. I gotta have the shirt. The shirt gotta be all good. Put your camera. shirt on and come say hey to the people. Mm, Christine. Y'all my husband acting out. Y'all hear him? He don't think I'ma put this on YouTube, but I'ma put it on YouTube so y'all can so y'all can hear how. He... So y'all can hear how he's showing up. Ooh, it's a lot of juice on this plate. All right, we're gonna heat this up. We're gonna heat it in the microwave. I'm gonna have to move y'all out the way. Way. I just feel like it put more heat, more heat in the paint on the plate. And I tasted this cornbread earlier, y'all. It was really good. It wasn't sweet or anything like I thought it was going to be. It was really good. It's moist. I believe this new Martha White going to be my brand when, I, when we don't make a homemade one. Just y'all a little bit. I believe the new Martha White gonna be my brand. Oh, let me show you what I'm wearing today to my spiritual meeting. Real bummish. It's uh, raining outside. I got my rain boots on, <sighs> my skirt and top. Baby, I'm recording. All right, I Whoa. heated up my plate and it's got some juice on it, but I want to show you. We got rice and gravy. We got cabbage. Turkey wings, they fell off the bone, y'all. And that moist cornbread. So, that's the food. It came out real good. That Hope you enjoy dinner. the dinner. Hope that's you enjoy meal. You want to come to this? Hope you enjoy your Sunday, you guys. Have a great day.